Shalom, brothers and sisters. All right, chapter 5, the book of Adam and Hawa. The devil paints a brilliant picture for Seth to feast his thoughts upon. Chapter 1, as for Seth, when he was seven years old, he knew good and evil and was consistent in fasting and praying. And spent all his nights and in entertaining Elohim, entreating Elohim for mercy and forgiveness. Seven years old, huh? Wonderful. <laughs> he also fasted when bringing up his offering every day, more than his father did, for he was a fair countenance. Oh, he was fair countenance. Of a fair countenance, like unto a messenger of Elohim. He also had a good heart, preserved the finest qualities of his soul. And for this reason, he brought up his offering every day. And Elohim was pleased with his offering, but he was also pleased with his purity. And he continued thus in doing the will of Elohim and of his father and mother until he was seven years old. After that, as he was coming down from the altar, having ended his offering, Satan appeared unto him in the form of a beautiful messenger, brilliant with light with a staff of light in his hand, himself grit about with a girdle of light. He greeted Seth with a beautiful smile and began to beguile him with fair words, saying to him, O oh Seth, why abidest thou in this mountain? For it is rough, full of stones and sand and of sand and of trees with no good fruit on them a wilderness without inhabitations and without town no good place to dwell in but all is heat weariness and trouble he said further but we dwell in beautiful places in another world than this earth. Our world is one of of light, and our condition is of the best. Our women are handsomer than any others, and I wish thee, O Seth, to wed one of them, because I see that thou art fair to look upon. And in this land there is not one woman good enough for thee, Besides all those who live in this world are only five souls. <laughs> you notice I said our women are handsome. Yeah, right. <laughs> are, are they really men? <laughs> Come on now. So, well, but right, because <laughs> isn't he like one of those uh, female? Yeah, female or or I don't know. Yeah, yeah trans. All right. Confucian. He's an abomination, I tell you what. All right, yeah. chapter 7. But in our world, there are very many men in, and many maidens, all more beautiful than one than another. I wish, therefore, to remove thee hence, that thou mayest see my relations, and be wedded to whichever thou likest. Thou shalt then abide by me and be at peace. Thou shalt be filled with splendor and light as we are. Thou shalt remain in our world and rest from this world and the misery of it. Thou shalt never again feel faint and worry. Thou shalt never bring up an offering nor sue for mercy. 
For thou shalt commit no more sin, nor be swayed by passion. And if thou wilt hearken to what I say, that uh, thou shalt wed one of my daughters, for with us is it is no sin to do. It is no sin so to do. Neither it is reckoned animal lust. For in our world we have no Elohim, but we all are Elohim. We all are of the light, heavenly, powerful, strong, and glorious. Dude, deception at its finest. And he's seven years old, right? Oh, I know. Come on. Well, let's let's keep it going, cause I think Adam. Yeah, chapter six. Yeah. Says conscience helps him to return to Adam and Eve. Chapter 6, verse 1. When Seth heard these words, he was amazed and inclined his heart to take him to treacherous speech and said to him, Seest thou there is another world greater than this, and other, and other creatures more beautiful than the creatures that are in this world? He spake and said, Yes, behold, thou hast heard me. But I will yet praise them and their ways and their doings. So Seth said to him, Thy speech has amazed me, and thy beautiful description of it all. Yet I cannot go with thee to day, not until I have gone to my father Adam and to my mother Eve, and told them all thou hast said to me. Then if they give me leave to go with thee, I will come. Again, Seth said, I am afraid of doing anything without my father's and mother's leave, lest I perish like my brother Cain, and like my father Adam, who transgressed the commandment of Elohim. And so, but behold, thou knowest this place, come and meet me here tomorrow. When Satan heard this, he said to Seth, If thou tellest thy father Adam what I have told thee, he will not let thee come with me. So hearken to me, do not tell thy father and mother what I have said to thee, but come with me today to our world, where thou shalt see beautiful things, and enjoy thyself there, and reveal this day among my children, behold them, beholding them, and taking thy fill of mirth, and rejoice over more, or evermore. Then I shall bear thee then I shall bring thee back to this place tomorrow. But if thou wilt rather abide with me, so be it. And Seth answered, the, the spirit of my father and mother hangs on me. And if I hide from them one day, they will die, and Elohim will hold me guilty of sinning against them. And Seth said, say, No, I am come to this place to bring up to it my offering. They would not be separated from me one hour. Neither should I go to any other place unless they let me. But they treat me most kindly, because I come back to them quickly. Then Satan said to him, What will happen to thee if thou hide thyself from them one night, and return to them at break of day? But Seth, when he saw how he kept on talking, and that he would not leave him, ran, and went up to the altar, and spread his hands unto Elohim, and sought deliverance from him. Then Elohim sent his word and cursed Satan to fled from him. Boom. But as for Seth, he had gone up to the altar, saying thus in his heart, The altar is the place of offering, and Elohim is there. The divine fire shall consume it. So shall Satan be unable to hurt me, and shall not take me away no. hence. Yeah. Oh. Then Seth came down from the altar and went to his father and mother, where he found them away, longing to hear his voice, for he had tarried a while. He then began to tell them what had befallen him from Satan under the form of an angel. So when Adam heard his account, he kept his face and warned him against that angel, telling him it was Satan who thus appeared to him. When Adam took Seth, and they went to the city treasures and rejoiced therein. And then Adam took Seth, and then they went to the city treasures and rejoiced therein. 
So from that day forth, Adam and Eve never parted from him to whatever place he might go, whether for his offering or for anything else. This sign happened to Seth when he was nine years old. Well, take one and two. Yeah. All right. Hallelujah. That was uh, the second book of Adam and Hawa, chapter two or three. Three, four. Three, four, five, and six. Shalom.